to get used to it. Thank you very much for uh, letting me uh, serve you. Well, listen, thank you for doing it, and uh, I've enjoyed it. As, as you will. Well, thank you. I don't want you to think that I've been uh, out on the town. No, I know. What have you been doing? Chopping wood again? No, it just <laughs> broke another little blood vessel there. Okay. You see this man behind the microphone? Yeah. Here? He had to fill in at the last minute just for me, and I feel very flattered. Excuse me, Bernard. Could you find a picture for me, please? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hell, I understand you do this better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is a setup. This is a setup. Are you going to refuse the president? <laughs> Absolutely not. I would never do that, but I don't think I could do it. Right <laughs> is this going to David here? No, no, this is just. With guess which is Ronald Reagan. You really want me to yes, do this? I do. On film? On film. Yeah. With cameras present? Yeah, and I want to watch this. He's never seen you do it. Here, try it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a setup. <laughs> David, are you going to have this replay for my boss? Is yes, that the idea? Yeah. I can't do this. I'm too nervous. I'm going to get you. <laughs> I really can't do this. Here I am on the spot. His hand shaking. I'm shaking so much I can't do it. That's all right. I'm not used to having the president watch me for it. I do that every once in a while. How about if I just try the Ronald Reagan? That would be. <laughs> Susa. <laughs> I can't do it. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is awful. I can't do it. I can't do it. Very good it's too much for me. I'm well, sorry, Mr. President. I'll let you down. As long as you couldn't complete the signature, and then I hear you do a pretty good phone imitation. Oh, uh, <laughs> David. <laughs> let me hear that. <laughs> you got to do it. Well, yes. No, Helen. No questions right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's all I can do. <laughs> well, oh, just to so get a prize for this yeah. time. I feel like I'm a contestant here. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm glad and I'm sorry I let you down on the signature and the, uh, the not so great invitation. <laughs> Listen, no, I'm, I'm glad that I've got, I know about that now because this congressman that said, Complaining that I got profane and angry. I'm going to tell him. I run about that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I really appreciate you spending your time. Well, good luck. All right. And now I'll talk to the rest of these people. The assistant. And now, ladies and gentlemen. has established. I too ask with the sum when we ask the question but don't wait for the answer, that the creator of the heavens and the earth, the infinite space and the time honor and gave us dominion over all of creation. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. As we explore this universe and expand our knowledge and understanding of space, may we and as we reach out into space and move back the boundaries of the unknown, help us to never lose the personal touch of caring and sharing with our brothers and sisters here on earth who sorrow and suffer and struggle each day. We ask a special blessing on the president of this country. Better rich little, I think. Bob, uh, he didn't. And continuing to remind the case leadership in this field. The award itself, as you see on my right, is a bronze bust of Dr. Robert Goddard being presenting the trophy uh, to the president. And Bill, if you'll join me. Like the American Space Program. 
Nancy and I have watched space shuttles take off and land that it was across our great country who their hard work, creativity, and faith in the future have built the American space program and laid the foundation for a better tomorrow. Robert Goddard, our American rocket pilot's genius, was not apparent to many until after his success. Arthur C. Clarke, distinguished author of science and fiction, says ideas often have three stages of reaction. First, it's crazy. I don't waste my time. Second, <laughs> find a way that we might eventually rid ourselves of the need. Now this is not and should never be misconstrued as just another method of protecting missile silos. The Strategic Defense Initiative has been labeled Star Wars, but it isn't about war. It's about peace. It isn't about retaliation. <laughs> Technology is a phase of trajectory would enable us to fundamentally change our strategic away from reliance on our ability to threaten global annihilation and toward reliance on systems which are incapable of threatening anyone. We're not discussing a concept of a comprehensive non-nuclear defensive system, a shield that could prevent nuclear weapons from reaching their targets, short-range ballistic missiles. Thus, we will not be consulting with our allies on SDI research, but working actively with them. In fact, we have extended formal invitations to those allied nations which want to join us in making SDI a fully cooperative research weapons more negotiable. If we're successful, the armed spiral will be a downward spiral, hopefully to the elimination. We must, as SDI research would permit, expand the opportunities the options for peace and arms reduction. But the same for navigators. Industries that seem far removed from any direct tie with the space program have benefited beyond expectation. Recently, the Presidential Commission on Industrial Competitiveness proposed a frontiers is part of our national character. As we face the vast expanses of space, let us recapture those 